hello. This reading is going to be for Pisces. Pisces. Let's see this book over here. Pisces. Um, January 2024. Pisces. January 2024. What is going on with Pisces? January. Hi, Pisces. How are you? Happy New Year. Um, let's say a quote and a song for Pisces. Pisces, January 2024. Okay. Um, so for the quote we got, we interpret our reality through our five senses. So are you hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, touching, or are you numb? Pisces. Oh Lord, I don't know if this is Ani DeFranco's month or something, but you got Gray by Ani DeFranco, the 523 version. Everything is gray. What kind of paradise? Why did I? Somebody else got Ani DeFranco, and I sang the wrong song in their video but I was singing this song um, gray by an ocean that's gray what kind of paradise am I looking for the sky is gray the sand is gray and the ocean is gray and I feel right at home in this stunning monochrome alone in my way Again, are you feeling your five senses or are you numb? Um, I smoke and I drink and every time I blink I have a tiny dream. But as bad as I am, I'm proud of the fact that I'm worse than I seem. What kind of paradise am I looking for? I've got everything I want and still I want more. Maybe some tiny shiny key will wash up on the shore. Yeah, it's a great song. The 523 version is my favorite. Okay, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces for? This is called. Oh. So, a, somebody sad. A sad movie, a sad song, a friend moves away, or feelings are hurt. Um. What is going on with Pisces? Pisces, it's asking that you feel your feelings, and it's asking that you, might as well go a little deeper, okay, let's see, Pisces, January 2024, fire, passion, yeah, get that fire under your butt, and get passionate about something, and get moving, and Ooh, I don't want to read the whole thing. Okay, ready? Cast aside your fear of the flame and bring more warmth to your inner world. Fire spirits are the natural drivers behind attraction, lust, and desire. When you respect the spirits of fire and the flames they create, they protect you, your loved ones, and your possessions. Working with fire energy in an etheric sense is a great healing. As you invite fire into your life, imagine it raging through every part of your body, purging you of all negative influences. As the flames lick away old hearts, those wounds are replaced by a sacred glow. Acquaint yourself with fire by visiting a hot climate, walking barefoot on hot coals at a supervised fire walk, immersing yourself in the heat of a sweat lodge, or gazing at the flames of a candle. Your kundalini is ready to be awakened. The moting force, the motivating force of fire will reignite your passion and fuel your inner flame so you can <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me so you can claim your power and walk in your true light 
with might, vitality, and vigor. Prometheus stole fire from the gods on Mount Olympus and gave it to mankind to ensure their survival. Hercules believed water and fire made the soul and likened enlightenment with becoming pure fire. Pyromancy, pyromancy, divination by fire, was practiced at the Temple of Athena. Fire deities exist throughout the world and include Kali, Heli, Aster, I think, Astar, Okay. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Celtic fire festivals such as Beltane honor the transformative power of fire. So the meaning of this card. A fear of fire stems from a past life. A cold approach is attracting obstacles. Offer warmth to others to brighten your inner world. A renewed passion invokes the love you have been waiting for. The element of fire holds the strength you require and the poem is call upon the spirit of fire invoke new courage and all you desire my force will ravish fears and plight ignite the flame of passion tonight so start working with fire and you can go from looking like that to that sad to confident that's what it looks like there to me okay Pisces, January 2024. Mm -hmm. Pisces, January 2024. Two and three. The Hierophant. So maybe you're in a contract attached to a group, community, organization, two of wands, and the fool. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, all right, the Hierophant. Let me read it from this book. The Hierophant. Santa, no, Santa, Santa won't cut it. I don't know what Santa is. S A N A. Time to get in touch with your spiritual energy. Hashtag spirituality. The Two of Wands. Two of Wands is always have a backup plan to your backup plans. Hashtag plan ahead. And the fool in this book is so you thought something that didn't play out that way. Player one, press start. You're about to go on an adventure in real life or online. All it takes is you making the first move. Trust and take that leap of faith. Hashtag new beginnings. Maybe you're moving up in rank in a certain um, community. Where's this at? Thank you. Hierophant, marriage, alliance, captivity, servitude, mercy, and goodness. Inspiration. The man to whom the quarant has recourse. Okay, what else? The fool. Could be at the end. That's so funny. Folly, mania, extravagance, intoxication, delirium, frenzy, bereavement. And the two of wands in this book. Between the alternative readings, there is no marriage possible. On the other hand, riches, fortune, and magnificence. And on the other, physical suffering, disease, chagrin, sadness, and mortification. Uh, speaking about the sadness of Alexander amidst the grandeur of this world's wealth. So it's very... 
somebody skip out of the running bride? What was that called? Did somebody skip out on a marriage? Somebody break up a engagement? Somebody, the runaway bride, runaway groom. I don't know what this is. Okay. But it's saying you have everything you, what kind of paradise are you looking for? You have everything you want, but still you want more. All right, let's see. Why the Hierophant? Why the Hierophant for Pisces? Why the Hierophant for Pisces? King of Swords in Reverse. Maybe a lawyer told you not to do something, or a lawyer stepped in, or an angry air sign. Um, King of Swords in Reverse. Tourmaline. Calmness, stabilizing, reaffirming. Somebody's not calm. Somebody's not stable. And somebody doesn't feel affirmed. King of Swords in Reverse. Don't put down others to prop yourself up. Get platform shoes instead. Hashtag misuse of power. Somebody's too controlling. Somebody wanted something their way. Or to do something in a traditional way. Maybe somebody wanted to do it differently. Maybe uh, this could be an organization that stopped you from doing something. Got their lawyers. Uh, you might have had a contract with somebody. And then you went off and did your own thing possibly. Alright, tell me about this two of wands. I'll go here. Buy the two of wands for Pisces, January 2024. Knight of Cups. So you could be going back and forth, might have a choice between two people, a choice between two places, a choice between two living areas, a choice between two work areas, a choice between religion and spirituality, a choice between an organization or going it alone, a choice between speaking up or staying quiet, uh, also a choice between going to see a friend and repaying the money that you possibly borrowed or vice versa, they're coming to you. Tell me about this fool. What about the Fool for Pisces, January 2024? Seven of Cups, too many choices. You can't do everything. Uh, what's the Seven of Cups in this book? Dreams only come true if you act on them. Do not hit, don't hit snooze too many times. So you have an opportunity to take a risk to do something but it seems like you're hesitant because you're sad, but you need to get the fire up under you because then you'll do things differently. Um, okay, let's get stickers. I might be leaving a workplace. Could be going back to school, could be going traveling, or maybe, like I said, getting into religion or spirituality, or getting out of religion and spirituality, or spirituality. Hierophant with the King of Swords reverse. Might be breaking a contract. Sweater vest and Hierophant with the King of Something about uh, designer clothes. Something about clothing. Designers. Could be shopping. Purchasing new clothes. Maybe this is about a work uniform. Or a school. Uh, I got just going to put this out there. Maybe somebody touched somebody's breast. What is 
is the Two of Wands with the Knight of Cups. Two of Wands, Knight of Cups. Ooh, ooh. Interesting. Mississippi. And I, Crooked Letter, Crooked Letter. I. Okay. I don't know what all this is. Something's dead. Someone's dead. Somebody's pretty much a zombie now. Or this is you. Because of the sadness. Why the Fool and the Seven of Cups? Maybe because of a bad choice, you have to go make another choice, or maybe you're risky when making choices, or you're going to take a risk, but there's some kind of illusion here. Delusion. What is the Fool with the Seven of Cups? Yeah, what is, I don't know what all this is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I've got a whole box full of stickers and I'm getting all scary stuff. I don't know what this is. Are you working on a horror movie? No, it's not Halloween. Uh, be careful. Fire, gray, somebody's sad, somebody's mad. There's all this morbid stuff. Somebody could have crossed the line from curious to insane. Somebody could be so numb that they're just doing things they wouldn't normally do. We interpret our reality through our five senses. Well, if you're only numb, it's the only thing you're interpreting. Alright, I feel like I need to get something for Pisces. Let's see. What's all this gory stuff? What's all this gory stuff? Eight of Wands. A dark person's affections. So maybe you're having a... Maybe you're going crazy because you're thinking about somebody else that you possibly feel. Wands, a dark person's affection. Uh, somebody else that you possibly feel is stalking you or likes you a little bit too much. Eight of Wands. That's what all this darkness is. Maybe you want communication from somebody and that's why you're being dark, or maybe somebody wants communication from you and that's why they're being dark. What did that say? A sad movie. A sad song, a friend moves away, feelings are hurt. I don't know what all this darkness is. Um, Alright. What do you want Pisces to know? Let's do two. So let's go here. What numbers am I seeing? I see... Two five eight. Two five eight. Let's see what it says. Two five eight. Two five nine. All right. It says boundaries must be put into place and respected. So maybe that's what the problem here. Somebody could be messing with your free will, with your dreams, with your thoughts, with your mind with their emotions, with your heart in a dark way. Somebody could be trying to manifest you so bad that it has become an obsession and it's dark now. Okay, um, what was the other thing? Okay, there's my book for that. Find the book, so I'm gonna do a crystal. Alright, tell me.
Pisces needs to know. Pisces needs to know. Or what crystal should Pisces be looking into? Huh. Um, why do I think that that's the one? This, did somebody pass on? Because I believe this is the one that speaks to, it is, um, spirits. So it's that D one. Do more terrorite. Speaks of calm, pain relief, partnership, tolerance, relaxation, equilibrium, and harmony. Uh, aligned with the star sign Sagittarius, once thought to be petrified water. So you might want to go to, let me see if it's in my book, um, Amazon. No, it's not in here. Uh, and see if they have it. It might be a stone you should carry. Okay, good luck, Pisces. Happy New Year.